Rosie. Let's get cozy because this is going to be a wild app. Yep. It's too it's too bright anymore, and I can only record with sunglasses now. Mm-hmm. I get it. We got Mike Weeby in the house. Yo, Mister Weeby, how's it going, y'all? Things are going good for me and Ryan. Unfortunately, our co-host Adam Powers has died in a plane crash. Oh no! Uh, he, well, here's the thing: he died of dysentery on the plane. And it was bad. Like, so like they, because cause dysentery makes you diarrhea all over the place, right? Yeah. And it was the things that came out of Adam Bauer's body were so bad. They were afraid it was going to cause like a new kind of plague yeah. type situation. He's having so a real, just, a real, so, a real Bauer movement. He was having. Yes. A real exactly. Bauer movement. And so they like it was in it was a real crash the plane into a mountain and save and kill 100 people to kind of like 9 11 type situation it was like it was 9 11 like 9 11 when they took down the plane oh my god we didn't even fucking talk about that and when we were talking about thor well yeah we already recorded it, a thor 11 we already episode. recorded thor and mike and i were talking on the phone mike and ike's were talking on the phone yesterday because you were saying that, that Thor does 9-11 in the new movie. Yes. He colludes well, in with the comics, Bush. In the comics, this is what was pissing me off. In the comic books, and you're a comic book guy, Thor does 9-11, and they don't even, they didn't even show that in this new Thor movie. Yeah. Well, because there's um, that whole run where Thor, um, he denounces paganism and gets into Islam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And which was odd, but um, it worked. And then I thought it was very bold that Marvel, you know, drew and all those, you know, there's lots of drawings of Muhammad, of the prophet Muhammad and him and Thor palling around and and drinking. Cover panel. Mead. Yeah. Cover. Yeah. Splash page two two double splash <laughs> page. Of Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, and it's crazy. weird that I wouldn't have gone with. I don't, Hold you know, on. maybe there's, I, listen, I haven't read the, I, I don't know much about the religion, but I, I thought it was an odd choice to have Muhammad's nipples pierced, but it made sense. Well, they the also, line. Muhammad's in the, the hall of God scene, right? He's in there. Yeah. But Stan Lee is cameoed playing Muhammad. Uh huh. That was his final, that was his final. And he's cameo. with 70 virgins. Yeah. Excelsior! <laughs> but we're not here to talk about Thor: Love and Thunder. We're here to talk about 9/11. a summer camp movie, a summer bummer classic. Oh, Ernest yeah. goes to camp. You mean summer Ern- bummer? Well, I mean it's a bummer for the second chancers. Yeah, it's a bummer. The movie ended. <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a bummer for Ernest in some ways, but Ernest he does is, not uh, have a good time in most of the film. Things don't work that's, out. Yeah, that's earnest. He, well, let's start with the beginning. So, Ernest, this is Ernest's first real big studio movie. He made yeah. that, what that, what the hell is that movie called? Dr. Mort and the fucking, the bullshit yeah, sing along or some. Who is, is Ernest? A knockoff oh. Pee Wee? He's a stand up no. turned. Yeah, he was a stand up turned. He was just, he I, was, I mean, I or, was going to ask you guys. He's Jerry Lewis. He's Jerry Lewis. In my I opinion. was going to ask you guys, uh, did you, and I granted I'm older, but um, did you guys have him? He was a staple of commercials growing up. And I think a lot of it was regional because there was, yeah. he just was, he was doing Ernest too. Like he was doing the Ernest character. Um, and he was, Brahms is like a sort of regional uh hamburger he did hundreds joint. of products he was Tons. it would be like if it'd be like if Flo, the progressive lady was in was selling insurance selling hamburgers selling coca-cola yeah and like mascots, really i didn't know he was like that it yeah would be like a mascot could just go from one product to the next and the other thing is yeah. not only was he doing this shit 
He was beloved. People oh. actually liked him in the commercial. What do you mean, actually? Yeah. Well, do you like a like? Is there a, a guy from a commercial you would be like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, I love this guy. I'm cheering for mm-hmm. him. Yeah. Like at the Indy 500, two Disney executives, Chester were there, Cheeto, and they saw and they had a little parade of people, and there was like Santa Claus, and they're like the audience clapped. And then Ernest came out and he's like, hey, everybody, how you doing? And the audience (laughs) went fucking crazy. And was cheering like crazy. And these two like Disney guys, I think it's Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Katzenberg. They're like, what the fuck? Who is Ernest? This guy is a sensation. So when they realized how popular he was and how beloved he was and like that, he was, you know, a capable actor. He wasn't just like some freak. You know, yeah, I've, I've apparently he's a did Shakespeare and stuff like that. Like he was a, and you can tell he's got like that weird, very trained thing that he can. He's yeah, got he's a crazy voice, kid. Yeah. yeah, he's a groundlings kind of guy. He has I wonder, that critical. I wonder what his stand up was like. Oh, it's watched bad. That. We wa- we watched oh, a, really a five minute. Yeah, I'll send you the link. It's he just does voices. So there's that like being no said, jokes. Wasn't all stand up bad good. back then? No, but yes. Um, no. Yeah, Robert Klein, was, I would say, is good. Yeah, he's one of those guys that was like, there was, it was like, at he that was a time, comedy this was store. 79. Was, this, it was, was a, 1979, the yeah, clip I watched. He was a comedy today. store. He and it was, it was a, yeah, it was a time where stand up, though, was like, you don't need, there's no like segues or conversation. It's just like, here's the voice I'm doing. And then that's you do the I voice. Do. That's what I do. I know, but there's no like subtlety to it back then. I don't know. His not subtle. The intro he got on this video I watched was he's a man of dialect. Uh, his introduction was insane. He's like a man of many <laughs> voices, a-, a man of dialect, a real New Orleans Creole kind of guy. And then he came <laughs> in and he goes, he just comes in and he's like talking about, yeah, yeah, I had this friend who he did. His opening line is, Ah, man, I grew up with this kid who he did absolutely nothing. No, I take that back. He did one thing. He read comic books, and that was how he started his set. He started his set by saying, I knew this kid who did absolutely nothing. And they go, no, nah, let me take that back. How about you? How about you just start like this is pre-written, bro? Like, yeah, how about yeah. you just start with the uh, I knew a friend who only read comic book. Just take a sentence out. Yeah, well, they didn't. They hadn't invented editing yet. He's and like then he does like act. the voice of he's his not mom. Like a, yeah, no, he's he was, not. He's a guest set. He's he wasn't like Steve guest Martin. Set. He wasn't like wildly successful as a stand-up or anything. Yeah, he was like Tim but Thomerson. Then he, but then he didn't do. Oh, he did stand-up he too. Yeah, Tim, Tim Thomerson was like a total like. There's tons of pictures with him and like, uh, you know, all that whole crew like that Robin Williams, David Letterman, Jay Leno crew, and his the guy like, who Tim, killed himself. Whoever that guy is. Oh the yeah, yeah, star. yeah. The 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 what was that show? Oh, Family Feud guy. Yeah. He jumped no, no. So building, like, right? yeah. There's like a famous story of like one guy at the comedy store who wasn't getting paid, and so he killed himself. He changed then... the he changed the game. Oh, that guy, that guy. Yeah. yeah, he changed the game. He jumped off the hotel across the street, and then comics started getting paid after that. He changed like the 20 game. Bucks or something, fifty bucks. He has yeah. more than zero. And did Mitzi Shore own the comedy store at the time? Polly Shore's mom. I- I think she's uh, always yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i think she's Sammy well Shore. now now it's just polly but yeah i think it's always been a shore residence the weasel well so when jim it was varney, mafia so jim varney failed he he got like a tv set but he moved back home and he was doing hard labor well, yeah he wasn't funny construction or whatever and then he did um but then he he ended up in a commercial so get this, the first Ernest commercial is for a, an amusement park that was so shitty that they didn't want to show off the amusement park. So what they did was they came up with the idea of a guy, Ernest, who was so excited to go to the amusement park that they wouldn't have to show how shitty the rides were and how like, yeah. fucked up the attractions were. Yeah. Or, like, And it's Ernest is just imme- immediately selling out people to like a fucked up amusement park. Like one of the worst things you could do is like, have people go on a yeah. bad roller coaster. I mean, it's dangerous, but I don't know if it was really dangerous. But anyway, but it is, it it is a funny thing that they're like, oh, that there were people out there. They're like, oh, this uh, this 
borderline IQ hillbilly likes a place, we should go there. That was the ni- that was a nice way to say retarded. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's the, he has a he has a sweetheart. Ernest is all about. It's love. a real uh, Billy Madison or um, any Adam Sandler character. Water boy. It's a real water boy character. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a simpleton because it's but Creole, he, right? It is a it's you know that, I will say that it is a really defined character. Like you can tell by this movie that he's been doing it for so long that yeah. he knows exactly exactly phrases everything he to is do Ernest. with it yeah he, he Ernest, is earnestly Ernest. yeah he inhabits because Ernest. he failed in hollywood he didn't make <laughs> he watched robin williams become fucking huge and that was his friend and just like letterman and all these guys like he's like fuck i couldn't pull it off like he got little bit parts but so Ernest is a guy who strives for greatness. So Ernest goes to camp. It starts with him saying how he wants to be a camp counselor. This is his big dream. Yeah, yeah. he's just ma- he's just maintenance on the property, which it seems like a dope setup. He lives in a dope ass cabin, like a yeah. two bedroom cabin, on, and he lives there year round. So only for three months he has to work, like with. And- people other people and then for the rest of the year he just lives in the woods by himself basically and i guarantee you maintenance the maintenance guy gets paid more than some teenage camp counselor exactly yeah isn't it half of that volunteer work (laughs) like well he wants to mold young minds into precision and focus (laughs) yeah the hell he says but it has a lot of gas also i unironically love these movies like me and my friends would what would sit around and watch these movies, all these earnest movies, and like genuinely, I rewatching it, I genuinely laugh. He's like, it's a lovable good. person. I'm gonna, it's, I can't wait to show these to my niece and nephew. It is appealing. over Christmas. It's for kids. It's definitely like the live is action what, bunny. It's a Bugs Bunny. Character. Yeah, it, for sure. It's a cartoon. It's a Looney Tune cartoon. He's he's like literally doing that in the camera and like the go kart or whatever is constantly it's got a mind of its own it's sentient solid gag solid gag he leaves the solid leaves gag. the go-kart on and they reference it well, he, can, he can't turn he can't turn the entire it movie in every other scene it's just driving by in the yeah. background it's just sentient okay but and then I, it I saves saying, the day i was saying how <laughs> it starts off like an earnest commercial like he does gags like he falls down with the ladder he he has a lot Talking of gags the camera right? that's a very yeah. commercial thing the window closes on his fingertips mm-hmm constant constant that was a constant thing because the the setup would be of the commercials a lot of times was Ernest talking into the camera but he's talking he's talking to the camera but he's talking to someone named Vern some friend of his named Vern and a lot of times he would go up to a window and go like hey Vern you know what I'm doing I'm about to go to Brahms and give a little spiel about Brahms he's like you want to come with me and I'll you can pay for the meal and then you would see the window slam down on his fingers and he'd go ah and that would be the end of the commercial (laughs) and um so yeah a lot of uh, like most of the movie, I would say the bulk of the movie is just probably recycled gags from all of these commercials over the years of him getting yeah, hurt slapstick. in various ways. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, like a sketch comedian who gets his first movie or a stand up and then they work all that shit from yeah. their act into their first like big. Ew. Was that his catchphrase in the commercials? I did. did he... I, I'm, I know he did that before where he would, yeah, step and look into a toilet. Yeah. Totally. I mean, because he's only he, he only does it twice in the movie, three times in the movie, maybe. Well, the toilet but is it, a big deal. This to me, when I first saw the movie on VHS as a kid, I thought this was like the funniest thing in the world. He looks into a toilet, then he looks into the camera and goes, yeah, he does it twice. He does it after right after he gets off the golf cart. That's the opening scene or not the opening scene, but like the first time we get some dialogue. And then he does it again when they're catapulting the same toilet later in the movie. Nice callback. But he it doesn't make sense because he was there to clean the toilet. Why is it still dirty days later? Someone, Someone took, a took a shit in, shit in it. it. You know, there's a shit in the toilet. He thinks yeah. it's gross. Yeah, and it's funny. This is classic humor. OK, Fiki so, is funny. So then Fiki he plun- funny. He plunges the toilet and it, the stick is going like really deep like really deep really down. yes and then he flushes it and then a, like a small trickle of water shoots up and it's oh, enough to puke. blast him out of the house like he's blasted out of the, the bathroom he's airborne 
my only note, Chappelle. My, my only note was that the water should be brown, mm, turd or yellow, should... or whatever. What it would be like red and yellow, but not pea yellow because of the food they're eating. What if there were what, what my if there's two a least toi- favorite characters? The what if there was a toilet baby in the in the <laughs> The toilet, like a prom toilet baby. There was a there was a girl like that a that had a forced a self forced abortion early on. <laughs> a miscar a self yeah a self. Dude, hey, that happened in my junior high. Just there was chunks a, of baby there was coming. A girl, in. There was a girl, and well, she the baby lived. There was a girl who those she was fucking babies overweight, and she nobody knew she was pregnant, and she like just like two months early forced herself to have the baby but the baby lived real crazy shocking town story who's that Where, baby? what town and who's that baby denton texas denton texas that baby is paris Hilton. the waco killer oh yep. <laughs> that baby grew up to be to murder thousands of people pol pot um <laughs> Well, Ryan, you were just about to get into and I cannot agree the enough chefs? the chefs are still legitimately like because Ernest seeing him do his stuff I'm like he's really good at what he does but this is for little kids it doesn't hit me the same way that it did when I was a little kid the chefs were maybe even funnier than when I was a little kid the chefs are like say funnier? funnier like I no, love the they chefs took me out so I didn't much. like their pay they, saying as the a pay- kid. they threw the pay oh as a kid right? or did you like or do you no like I love chefs? them now like I think they are I they throw the pacing of the movie off all, so much. And the way they talk to the lobster as a vegan, the way they talk to the oh, lobster here before, we go. The, before here they we go. before they murder him. But then he doesn't talk to the chicken like that. It's just a weird. It don't make no sense. None of it. John, John, the guy who's the fat comedian that was in the, the Punisher. John, Candy? John. Ben, no, no, no. Who's in the John, Punisher? John. John Benet Ramsey. He's the neighbor. Punisher? He's the big fat, the the John Travolta one. John, John Tra- he's a stand up. Oh, he's oh a fat stand up. I never saw that punish. There, there's oh, so many Caparillo? John yeah, Caparillo. Yeah, earthquake. Big earthquake. <laughs> no, it's it's like a it's it's like a, a better version of Fluffy. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, John yes. Caparillo. <laughs> John Caparillo should have been Cap- the chef. That energy nah, should have came. That should have came. That guy I'm is, thinking of the right guy. The big that fat guy. That chef guy is great. Southern weird. Now there was a there was he's a thing. A, did you ever see Hollywood Nights? Yeah, he's a cop in Hollywood Nights. Yeah, the That's chef the from this movie. Yeah, he's in a bunch of shit. He's a real actor. He's in The Outsiders. There is Rocket a Man, Mississippi Burning. He's, he's the only one I recognized. The there Grifters. was a um. There was a Ernest. TV show. It was called Hey Vern, and it was essentially a sketch comedy show where it was just Ernest, and it was just a bunch of like Vern him sketches falling down. But they would do a segment every, and it was the same joke every time, and it was the funniest thing. Where it was that that the big guy, and it would be called. It was something about sound effects for movies, and they would have a funny intro where it was showing him. Was, and they introduce introduce him as this guy who does all these sound effects for every movie and he would like just be really serious and look into the camera and he'd go and the, the setup was every time and they'd go like all right guys now i'm going to show you the sound that i made back in a 19 you know a 1981 a little movie back in 1981 called the martians are coming the martians are coming and every single movie that he would reference was the whatever a coming the whatever yeah, yeah. okay and so he go like this is the sound of a cow getting squished by a giant Martian. Here's what. Here's how you do it. You take the meaty part of your palm and you stuff it up under a thing, and then every single sound was. Every hey, actually, every keep time. your mic keep your mic pulled pulled away a little bit where you just had it. Okay, over here. No, put it no, down. No, no. Down put down it there. down. Okay. Well, no, I got one of these. More. I got one of these sketches. Let's okay. Yeah. It. Awesome. Hey, time for Lonnie Don School of Hollywood Sound Effects. <laughs> that's not him is it no no <laughs> no is that the same actor yeah it's the same actor yeah, oh yeah same. yeah i thought you were asking if he really was doing that sound effect. <laughs> well, i love whatever. that but every though, time, like, there would be like a, this is the sound of a soccer ball smashing into uh smashing into a goalie's crotch in the movie pele's a kicking 
Pele's a kicking. A kicking. <laughs> then he just opens his mouth and it's some noise. No, it would be the, every time it was him, you take the meaty part of your palm and you stick it up under here and then we do a fart sound every single time. Oh, that's fucking good. Well, Ooh, I, I can see all fucking... your I can see all your tabs. I don't know how to turn the sharing off. Ah, William's looking up. Do, how do I know it, if I'm into prolapsed anus play? Why did you Google that? You how do know I know it? it? I don't know if I'm into it. I, I do <laughs> it every day, but I don't know if I'm into it. So the movie is light on plot. Ernest wants to be a camp counselor. I <laughs> you, you pretentious prick. Uh, the movie's light on plot. The movie. I appreciate Ernest in the first scene, he camp. just says, I want to be a camp counselor. It's like so broad and basic, but it's like the most important thing of any film is what does the character want? Okay. And to make that nice and clear, like you said, an Adam Sandler movie, but also like, I don't know. I kind yeah. of feel like there's some of like the jerk in this, but even that movie's like too brilliant and too like silly. Um, there's a lot of Pee Wee in this. He does feel like yeah. Pee Wee, like a persona, a hone persona that they are then building a project around. It'd be like they never made a Super Dave movie, but Super Dave is a similar yeah. variety show character who could go on a talk show or have his own special or blah blah blah. But it Curtis is. wants to be a camp counselor and he gets his chance when there are second chancers brought in. And these are bad kids from naughty boys. What juvenile hall? Uh, like cool, what are, cool school? Yeah. yeah. Well, who are these what kids? What the fuck? How cool are they? They're, they're from a new wave school. They all have blazers with buttons on and ties really with, they, you know, skinny ties with no. Movie. They look, they look like half of them look like they're in the band The Knack. None of them <laughs> okay. do drugs, but they're well, in because like, they're in prison. Yeah, they're kind of like orphans. It seems one's like. a master, yeah. one's a master thief, and, and then there's, there's no a, talk of their parents. There's a Einstein too. Well, they probably smart... they probably wouldn't be in prison if they have if their parents were around. That's true. Fo focus on the family. Yeah, I love I love when they have like such a calculated gang. You're the you're yeah. the leader. You're the leader, so you're kind of balanced. You're the muscle. Yeah. You're the yeah. smart guy, and then you're the new guy. You're the little runt who's you're emotionally runt. more aware than the rest of everybody. Who's it's the fat one? Yeah, the, the fat the, one. The who fat one. They so just he's said the, he's the Einstein. The fat, yeah, and I don't know the that fat, he, the fat one's either the like, muscle or the Einstein. They said he was. The, I, I don't know that he ever did anything particularly smart he, though. I I wrote this down. He did not do they set him up as Einstein. He's only in like three scenes and the scene where they're doing the, the calculations to calculate the catapult. It's not him. It should be him because he's yeah. the Einstein and he should be yeah. like, uh, uh, winds coming in due West, uh, calculate five, 30 yards to the left. No, it's just one of the other kids being like, move 10 feet to the left. I got to tell you nothing. Th this movie, uh, the kids are the, are boring. These are boring kids. We need yeah, them yeah. to be wilder Stop. and crazier. Stop making like, movies with kids. They suck at fucking acting. Kids aren't good at acting. Even the best kid actor isn't good at it. It's not easy. Come you have only me, a few hours a day to work with them. It's um, you have to like be yeah. teaching them during the off hours. But these kids aren't. They yes, don't let have kids be kids and then teach them how to be actors when they become adults. They don't have the big personalities. They don't have arcs. They don't have all they're the shit. They're indistinguishable. Who wrote this, Who wrote this by the way? It has like know. some insane what's amount the, of writers. Is it a, is it it a has like seven production? No, 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 no. Yeah, what's the credits here? It's this. It, it was so I watched. I went to a, a summer camp slasher movie marathon last night, and they showed the trailer for this movie, and. Originally, it had a Disney logo on it, but at the last minute, they're like, let's just switch it to Touchstone. Like, this is not a Disney. Which is bigger at the time? Disney's bigger, Disney. So. Well, Disney's yeah. always bigger. Writing Especially credits. Trying to sell the kids. John Cherry, Coke Sams, and then two guys with additional dialogue. Glenn. John Cherry, Jim. So they, the additional dialogue is probably the, like the punch up people. John Glenn, Cherry, what did he go to direct? He directed this movie. He directed like five Ernest movies, and then he directed some like sh straight to video crap. So 
they got a four picture deal. They did Ernest goes to camp. Ernest saves Christmas. <laughs> Ernest goes to, to jail in Florida. That's why. Ernest uh, scared <laughs> stupid is the final one. Yeah. Um, Ernest goes to jail. And I Ernest say, scared stupid is the second best one. I don't. I disagree. It's I disagree. the most popular one. I would say. Ernest goes to jail is the best one. This is where Ernest gets to play two characters. Yeah. You're not. The here's the deal. They're they're all they're all top three, and I, I'm not gonna argue. I There's agree four, that Ernest goes to jail. <laughs> Ernest go, or they're they're all top five then, and then Wedding Singer is the fifth. Uh, Ernest, <laughs> <laughs> Ernest, this is the best one because of the Badger scene, which we'll get to. This is the best Ernest I think movie the because of that Badger scene. It's the best scene. Yes, that's a good one, but. The, Prison, the prison's a little too real. Prison's a little too real. Okay, for okay. This kind of, for this kind of slippery humor, the the I will say the production on this is way better than it should be. It's widescreen. It's anamorphic. It looks amazing. It looks the amazing. First it looks amazing. Two minutes are are like, oh, we're watching a fucking summer camp movie. Yeah. Like the oh, first it's, two, it's like, oh, is this is Bill Murray about to fucking sweeping walk in? Oh, shots. Yeah. We have to talk about meatballs because this is a complete ripoff of meatballs, right? Like, yeah. Well, it's yeah. A, just, yeah, it's a PG meatballs. Yeah. Yes. Which is kind of almost every camp movie at some point. Like, it has but is it meatballs? A... What's the original one? There's two camp movies. There's the horror movies, Friday the 13th, and then there's meatballs coming of age. Mm-hmm. Camp and, movies. Then the, and then there's wet, hot American summer. If this movie was made today, and like I said, they needed arcs for all the characters. Like meatballs, they probably would have had one camp camper with an be arc, starring Blippy, you know, by the end, who has like who gets a, his first kiss, stands up to a bully, um, gets now molested be, by Ernest, gets molested you know by Ernest. <laughs> yeah, and now would be a kid that came out of the closet. I think has a toilet baby. Yeah. Ooh, Ernest comes out the closet. I yeah. can see that. No, I don't. I think Ernest. Oh, what were great. we talking? What were we talking earlier? Uh, er, Ernest. I said Ernest gets blackout drunk, uh, <laughs> yeah. and then and then William said Ernest gets Ernest get, gets drunk and drives. Ernest <laughs> gets and drives. <laughs> but here's the deal: he fucking that totally could be a movie because the when he's driving the delinquents back in the bus, they blind him. Dude, this yeah, movie is so it. fucking funny. I, you know, and he, he just go, he just, he's always yes ending. He's always yes ending. And every single thing, he's always positive and always, yeah, this is the, it, cause he's stupid. He's earnest. I he's think very, the key is great. I think the key to success for, and this movie was pretty successful as I remember. Um, oh yeah. This key to success for like kids We're talking movies, about it right now. and this is clearly a kids movie, is that, you know, it, it's made for kids, but there's also huh? jokes for the adults. And there's one joke in this that they overshot for adults so bad that I, I definitely didn't Ernest understand movies. it as a kid. It's they when this in Ernest movies, but it's always great. It's Pick, what's Ernest yours? is getting a shot. Yeah, and the was. pain hurts so bad, so bad. He that says, he admits to being the, no first he doctor. says he stole the lean he says i stole the yeah, Lindbergh baby i stole the Lindbergh baby and then he says which i'm i joseph, was melange i'm joseph, I'm joseph mengele which yeah wow. I didn't get that. what is that ernest Reference. is a nazi he ernest, confesses mengele was a, the doctor of the third reich who performed the most horrific horrible yeah, he was experience. like making he was making like skin lamps and shit exactly and then yeah. and then disappeared to uh brazil and i think they they eventually found him somewhere this in south america is why Ernest is legitimately this is my peak humor <laughs> that kind of shit like i do i literally all the time i do a joke and i didn't realize that was a um nazi reference every time i watch it i've seen this movie like 40 times this was a, a huge inspiration to my humor. This and like Jack, any Jackie Chan movie. And, uh, and I'm not even joking. We used to watch this all the time growing up. And I thought that shit was so fucking funny. But now in hindsight, I always do a joke where I'm like, I mean, let me get candid here. Like the Holocaust really wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> and now I'm realizing maybe that I do that all the time because I was inspired subconsciously. Do you think by he meant to say Ernest. you're Joseph Mengele? No, um, the, the doctor is torturing him. 
make yeah, I'm sure. Wonder. Yes, I'm sure that Wouldn't that's that make probably. More sense? It would make way more sense. But other than Mengele, Mengele was like. Mengele didn't they couldn't run find away, him for that, years. That was a like, what yeah. are you, Joseph Mengele? Yeah, because you're getting pricked. But the Lindbergh baby joke is so like the old people watching that movie when it came out. That would be an incredibly old reference for them. I mean, he's old. But but, but how old the, was he when he filmed this movie? But the Lindbergh baby 47. happened in like the twenties. I think. Okay, Mike, Mike, I'm not trying to put you on blast. Ernest was, you said 47? 37. He's born in 48. Oh, 37. 37 years when he, when he did this movie. Yeah. So he was pretty, he was really successful. God, he looks older. Well, he used to smoke four packs a day, which is obviously what led to his final adventure. Ernest dies of cancer. (laughs) Oh God. And he goes, he goes, and his final words are, you know what I mean? Ew, ew. <laughs> yeah, he looks at his x-ray. His death rattle is, ew. He looks at his and then he shits lung. his pants. <laughs> no, he shits his pants. And yeah. Then he oh, yeah. He's incontinent. Ew. <laughs> ew. And then he sticks a plunger up there and flies through the ceiling. Man, yeah, that so- shit, if, if I, this is the kind of movie I want to write, to be honest. Because it's terrible. Nope. But full of heart. William, you just aren't funny. You don't know what funny is. I know it's I'm hey, come on. He just I'm made all, he just made both of us laugh with the Ernest goes to I'm k- pissed. Cancer no, I here here's the deal. There's some context here. I'm mad at William today. Oh and I, I right. should say get that. into it. What's the what's the That's it? No. So Will no William told Wait me two scheduling PM, which is two PM is my time. Pacific, and they live in Pacific. California. I live in California. I'm William. I did the credits to Thor and so Doctor Strange, you fucking coward. Uh, <laughs> that is cowardly. Yeah, so, okay, and Mike, you know I'm a drunk, right? Yeah, I'm well aware. Yeah. And he was prepared. Uh, he was awake I early. I was on shocking. time today at 2 p.m. Yeah. And he goes, no, I meant 2 p.m. California time, which is 4 p.m. my time. It's a two-hour yeah. difference. I did not yeah. want to wake up. I never want to wake up. That is, that is, uh, I'm you know. earnestly... So tell What's us about that? why is Ernest Ernest? He literally oh, is. Yeah. It's yeah. He's what is P. Worrell though? Is there a joke there? What's Ernest P. Worrell? Is there a jo- is that like a name so. joke? I think it's just it's like a reference a, to something. It's just a made up name. I think it's just a very southern, like Appalachian sounding name. Putting a right. Sticking that middle initial letter in there is a very like mm-hmm. southerny kind of like um yeah you know, I just felt like so he doesn't condescend the southern people no, he doesn't make he's fun honest. of hillbillies even though that was how a stand up was there is but- he is not mean spirited he doesn't make fun of him even in a stand up he's like I lived amongst them I'm one of them it's southern hospitality southern good manners that classic like you know. Be yeah, nice. very, very be nice. Very, you know, he really it is a thing, though. It's a, it's a pretty difficult line to toe to make something that is, again, like very geared for children, a character that's geared for, geared for children that can have such a popularity with adults. You know, oh, and my that God. Was... What the P in uh, the P in Ernest P. Worrell is peen sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I'm a hundred percent. I think I'm a hundred percent serious. <laughs> Ernest is that a common... Worrell is a government <laughs> experiment and God of time who performed a series of non <laughs> This is wiki. <laughs> Where are you reading this? I'm reading a fake, a fake wiki. Obviously somebody made that up. <laughs> Ernest Power... Sucker Worrell. He has an alias that says Ernest power tools Worrell. He's like in the he's in the home improvement universe. <laughs> he's, he's dressed like he's dressed like Tim the Tool Man. He's kind of ripped. That's one thing I didn't remember. Because like, he's, he's like, an actually blue collar guy. He worked. He actually worked construction. And they say construction like literally they say construction people are the most physically fit blue collar yeah, yeah, worker yeah. of a man they're known okay for william you sit around and you do credits for fucking thor on your computers multiple you sit on your ass you probably got a donut yeah i'm not sitting. saying i'm an like, inflatable donut 
Yeah, I'll, I'm pissed at William today. I'm sitting on an ice cube over my anus because I <laughs> have a hemorrhoid from it. working so much. I've so, got one in my anus. Mm. Just for sexual reasons. No, no hemorrhoids. Ernest gets a hemorrhoid. That could be a good movie. <laughs> be, you ever, hey, be have fun. you ever been pegged by a prolapsed asshole? Someone else is by a prolapsed asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been pegged by It'd someone be, else? I mean, prolapsed. that would be very squishy. It'd be hard to get that hard it's enough perfect. to really penetrate. It's like a, a bar of wet soap. It's hard to grip. Mm. Are you, have you been looking at Imagine prolapse? you sticking your dick in a prolapsed asshole and then no, I you stick it in. No, I currently have one. Can, I just don't have health insurance. so it's, You pull it out and it's like a Chinese finger trap on your dick and you're just like, oh. Like, oh. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That's basically his, I'm did stuck. I do that? Yeah. Oh, Urkel's very much like an Ernest, isn't he? They all yeah. are, dude. Pee wee. But, but all these guys, even Pee wee, it can Pee-wee's be a little a smarter version of that. But I, I do. I think I would, if I have to They're pick man one, children. one man child for kids that adults, I'd probably pick Ernest because he's doesn't, he doesn't get old like Urkel. And Pee wee gets a little. I mean, I know it's sacrilege, but Pee wee can get a little grating on me with the ah, it's all the time. Like I'd rather see. Yeah, it's. A I'd rather see someone get hurt a lot. Like, like I'd rather oh, you see are, stick. but what yeah. am I? Yeah, it's a little much. It's Pee-wee too obvious that he's doing a character. Pee Wee's problem is that he jerked off in a theater. Yeah, we all know successful. the police report. <laughs> His yeah. first movie is too good. And so they could never, the sequel is so. But the show's good too. Mediocre good. compared to the move, the first movie. It's just kind of like, it's eh, a good this character, is over. Though. He's this like a funny work. guy. He's a funny comedian. <laughs> um, the difference between Pee Wee and Ernest is Pee Wee was a funny comedian, like a funny person. Ernest also has Ernest the same director. Is, is not a funny person. He's not a writer. He's a performer. And, Ernest has uh, a, the same director, and that helps keep the movies together. Yeah. Saves yeah. Christmas, goes to jail, scared stupid. There's a consistency to the product. It's because it's the same. Yeah, it's the it's a it's a single product. There's no growth. There's no attempt at growth. It's just like here's your it's here's Medea, here's Medea in prison. Ooh, here's Medea, Medea in this. Here's Medea in that. Here's Medea in this. You're just buying Medea. You're buying Ernest. It don't matter. It's still a commercial. It's just ninety minutes long now. Now all the all the sequels have the chef guy as a new character, right? But they switch out the other chef guy and they yeah. get that weird Skinny guy one. with. The weird old weird guy, guy. yeah. The chin, the chin. That used to, That's yeah, better. They, that guy's they used better. used to sell posters like... of that guy in Spencer's where he would take his teeth out and smile, and his face looks real crazy because he, he had his the teeth out guy. and would say, "Homework makes you ugly." He was He's the beer alive. guy, right? Yeah, bitter face, beer, beer face. I guy. drew Is him. him. I have a sketch, maybe of him I, that I, that I'm pretty proud of. That I I don't have it with me, but because it's in in my parents' basement. But I drew him for like a final project in one of my art classes. It's and, not uh, him, guys. The beer guy? It's not? No. There was, there was like three guys that were doing that around the Is same time. Is it Carl Oldie Olson? I don't know. But it's, it's not definitely him. not the beer guy. Because the beer guy's like this some guy weird totally fucking... You, he's like some weird uh, football kind of, I want to say Guy Ritchie type guy. Let's talk about the, the beer guy, the badger scene, because Ryan is obsessed with the, us. the best fucking ideal and absolutes, right? The crow, <laughs> the, the crow and uh wedding singer are the only two good movies in the world. Uh, in that regard, uh, as far as romantic comedies go, <laughs> <laughs> and, and so you're coming from you're a man of taste rush hour earnest no that's the thing is there there no fucking taste in movies william let's get to the okay. badger scene yeah tell us about this it. because there's no it's just pure stupidity and the humor and the timing and the editing everything involved the performances well it's a setup Ernest, and there's a punchline and but it's they don't do it like that well, it's so stupid. He goes, don't. Here's one thing you should definitely. Can you bring it up? Can we watch it right now? Here's one scene that or what he goes. Here's one thing you should definitely not do. 
uh, in this situation. And then he just does it. It's so simple and funny. And the noises he makes. Although they look cute and cuddly, don't ever, ever do this to a family of badgers. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more, literally one more time, and then we'll move on. One more time, but I'm stop. Pause it. Pause it. This I'm is positive. comedic genius. Okay, let's let him say the setup without you talking over it. I know, I know, I know. Although they look cute and cuddly, don't ever, ever do this to a family of badgers. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you have to that's the steve irwin i want to watch i want to visually, watch visually i want to watch happening. steve irwin I, if, if in, the last thing steve although they irwin look said was, cuddly, don't ever uh this don't, don't ever do this you should never do this to a you see a badger and he, but you we, the audience never sees the badger ever yeah. and yeah, Ernest says know. don't ever do this to a badger don't do this and then he makes a wacky face and sound and then the badger starts attacking him but he, it's the camera is just it doesn't show the badger and he's just running back and forth like he's getting attacked i imagine this is in a commercial it was edit, it for sure edit, was it definitely was edit that edit that audio in and i'll audio say this <laughs> th i mean that scene is that's just a tiktok sketch right there that might as well just be i mean if think about how yeah. big he would be if he Head was of on its TikTok. time is what you're saying yeah well Hold i on. mean look at this commercial this and that's funny honestly one. what I'm saying. It's ahead this of its time. Like humor is coming back to this. It's not ahead of its time. This is vaudeville. Yes, it is. Exactly. This is humor. This is what humor used to be. And we're seeing it's TikTok back, is honestly bringing back vaudeville, old fashioned humor. Well, yeah, see, we today, the if the scene was done, there'd be a badger. It would have like animatronics. It'd be like yeah. over the top. It'd be silly. There'd be like ridiculous props. Melissa and McCarthy kind of would come in. That's kind of the weakness of Ernest Scared Stupid is it's too, it's the production values are too high. It's kind of like Ernest needs to be down and dirty. It's swamp humor, but it's mountain humor. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's hee haw. Okay. Now I look think, at this. Ernest but, okay. So I think the high production ever. adds to the this. humor though. Like the fact that but, it is high production. The, if you saw the badger, stupid... it wouldn't be funny. Exactly. Yes. Yes, so yes. Yes. When you don't see the badger, it actually makes it funny. And that kind of yeah. experience you know, is what he brings to the table. And Mike is right. Oh, he you're is right. Like, it you're is totally like hee-haw. Right. So sure, it has beautiful widescreen photography, but because you don't see the, the badger, it works. Now here's Ernest P. World's best commercial ever. I just watched this on YouTube. I think this might be worth sharing. Make sure the audio's on. Okay, share sound. Hey, Burn, look what I found in my daddy's closet. You know, I... It's a machine gun from World War II. Right? He's it's literally like a, it's okay. Like okay, keep it, keep it paused. Keep it paused. Keep it paused. It's totally a, a machine gun. He. This is literally a TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Ahead of his time. He's Go a fucking. On. He's viral. He's a viral sensation. He's before viral. He's viral was a, before even viral. a thing. Yeah. I bet you this I'm is from up. Big One. You know, WW2. Boy, I bet them were some great times. I know, because I never miss Hogan's heroes on WDBJ7. You know, with Schultz and Hogan and Commandant Clink. Hogan's heroes, weekdays on your hometown station. You know, Vern, this must be some kind of a cigarette lighter. <laughs> I know nothing. I see nothing. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming, and it still made me actually laugh. What? Okay. Uh, what is? I'm getting weird, weirded out. It, so he's totally attached to the Nazi regime. <laughs> I think two he references. Got, That's well, two but references. Hogan's. I don't know if you know the ho show Hogan's Heroes. It was about. It was That's insane, smart. but it was a syndicated show I don't about. Care. No, listen. It was about World Never War Two show. guys that were. In a, there were POWs in a Nazi camp. concentration camp, 
and uh, but a Nazi POW camp. And the whole thing was like the Nazis were real stupid, and they were like helping out the Allies the whole time. And it was basically oh, it was a joke a comedy. about it. It was a comedy. So, yeah, it was a comedy show. Oh, okay. I was. Are thinking... you just doing a goofy sponsorship? Yeah, for exactly. a series for like. A... And what what he was doing was like that show. Schindler's was shot List in the, though. That was that show, not a promo for Schindler's? <laughs> no, yeah, that show was shot in the late '60s, I believe, and it was on TV all the time. So that was probably like a not network channel. This that is a rerun. Like, He's talking yeah, about it was a rerun. rerun, and they probably showed yeah. it every day at, at like you know five o'clock, and it got good ratings. So that was also they a good were just fire using him regionally. That was a good fire at it. That's actually, a good firing at it yeah. for the time. Well, it's like, real. It was really firing blanks. Oh, I mean, that, gun, that oh, machine okay. gun is Got going you. off in that the garage. No he's, sw he's swinging it around. So he does seem to like World War II. I was thinking it'd be funny if the movie was called Ernest Goes to a Concentration Camp. <laughs> be, uh, no, it's just it's Ernest Goes to Camp. And he's like, I'll, it's the same title. Oh, I want to be just, a just in a concert. <laughs> My dream <laughs> is to be a Nazi guard. He's, he's just <laughs> burying body. He's doing mass graves, <laughs> talking to the All camera, right. just going now, like a child. He is a, clear a, a pile of dead Jews. And he's here's the like... yeah. Here's the inside jokes. Like the little sides they're gonna do. It oh, it starts with him clearly throwing Anne Frank into a fucking <laughs> into like a mass grave. And he goes, exactly. well, yeah, frankly, she's getting a little heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's busting out the walls. And he's just like, e that's how they caught her. That's how they the, he goes <laughs> he in the goes shower <laughs> after all the Jews are dead. He puts the e Jews into the shower. <laughs> but then yeah. grabs a shovel he pours anyways, the Zyklon it's his B job. on all the Jews. Oh my god, why do you know the technical term? <laughs> you weird. Funnier that way, right? He's just like, e you know, the Holocaust the is funnier when you know more details about it. And all the and all the bad <laughs> that's things literally Ernest what you camp. just said. All the bad kids in Ernest Goes to Camp are like blonde and they hate Ernest and they're like the Nazis. Oh, so, and they're like, Ernest, you are so stupid. So <laughs> and then the, the the people he has to counsel are are like a Polish people or Let's something. Talk what about is it? what's Jews. not they're Jews. Yeah, the but they can't be. Camp. No, they can't be because they they survive and win. Well, maybe they're uh, prisoner what? of war <laughs> soldiers and they're like this fucking Ernest guy's a sellout. Why yeah. are you helping these Nazis, Ernest? And he's like, well, they may be a, a guard, a counselor. He's like, you're not a camp counselor. This is a personal I went, worker. I went from turning <laughs> the showers escape. on to running the showers. It's it'd be a real it'd be a real like inverse. Life is beautiful situation. Yes. So let's talk Ernest, about Ernest Iron Ice list. <laughs> Ernest list. Schindler's Ernest. Oral's list. So, Iron Knight Cody, he plays the Native yeah. American chief in this movie, and he has no lines in English. He's speaking a native language. Now, this guy's most famous for being in the 1970s TV commercial where people are polluting and the bag of trash is thrown at his feet, and then he has, like, one tear come down one his tear, eye. Yeah. So, this guy swore his whole life that he was native he's in a bunch of movies from like old westerns up until you know i think ernest is his last movie well after he died his daughter came out and said he's 100 percent sicilian he is not native american at all what are <laughs> he's you pretend serious? he's pretending to be native american he's not indigenous he's not i don't know where he learned that language i don't know he you know, God. he is. I mean, he's earnest, but in real life, like he is playing a character and a persona that he is. That got him work. It is so hard. It's so hard to get work as an actor. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially this is, steady work. And I, I'm sure he was a steady had steady employment. This is Billy Vanilli style. That is crazy. Shit. You know, that he is. I am, you know, now that I actually take a step back and like, yeah, I can kind of tell. Yeah, you can, like, you think can really tell. Features. Yeah, he's not that. Yeah. He's not. He doesn't have the, the skin color of a native. Yeah. He's Italian. And there's just a bone structure that's a little. Yeah, he looks Italian. No, he looks like if you. It, yeah. Take out 
the clothing that we've exclusively seen him wear and put like a you know a pinstripe suit and or some track pants track <laughs> make outfit. him put him in the godfather he could be yeah he could be remember in the godfather um who's the bad guy that assassinates who tries to assassinate him the uh fuck not sure i got see i was i was hearing that while i was peeing um he looks like the, the guy in the god is. he looks like uh God damn it. But do you Salazzo. guys have any? He looks like Salazzo. Salazzo. Yeah, I was trying to remember. Do you, I knew do you have about, any like, indigenous Native American friends? I'm 9% I, I in, indigenous. You're what? 9%. No, you're okay. My The Ian who I is uh, in, in two well, of my yeah. bands is half. Is but half I mean Navajo. like. Okay. I know a lot of white people. Have, who, now when we're in fifty percent, we're talking. But you and we, we've, um, we, well, like I've spent a lot of time, not a lot, but I've spent time with. <laughs> also, his, you're Mexican. His family, man. his uh, Ian's They're family. I've been out to like the reservation and and seen. See, I've been out to some reservations and stuff. Uh, from uh, one That's when I lived way. in college, like half half of my college, there was two colleges on the same campus, and one of them was a Native American college. So kind of palled around with some of those guys. But then Ian, like when we've been on tour, occasionally we've gone to like his grandmother's re- reservation back when she was alive. And uh, where in yeah, Texas or Arizona? Uh, it was actually Colorado. Whoa. It's uh, and I think one in Arizona. <laughs> That's way more. It's kind of. I don't like think I've movie? ever. I don't think I've ever been on a reservation unless I was driving through. Do they we, like this we, movie? I don't know. I don't think Do they, they appreciate the. Is Ernest. Nine percent, even. No. no. Okay, because there's a there's a He's scene in the proof. movie. Also, I was asking that because I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I've got friends that are. He's blessed. Plus, we don't talk about it. But like visually, I don't know. I don't like. They don't look like the Sicilian guy we were talking about. So yeah. it'd be e- it, like it's easy. I feel like it's easy to trick a basic American, Midwest American. Of course, you just need to get a, just a brown person as a brown person. I wonder if the actress, though, the nurse actress, I wonder what her story is. She was is. definitely, she seems legit. Yeah, she seemed legit. But Ernest, there's a scene where he says, our fathers, our founding fathers, when he's like taught, when he's all beat up at the end, and he's like going to go back and he's like, we got to defend this land because our father, our founding fathers defended it. And then when he said that, I kind of, I, I kind of like, do that and then he goes well my fathers and also your fathers did too and he says that to the nurse so he like the dialogue kind of catch it because he says our fathers defended it and we got to defend it he goes well you know we had different fathers so it's he makes a point to be like i'm and that is just what that's just the critical race theory that the bullshit left wants to put on our children and we can't have this Make Ernest, us feel the bad. critical race theory. I want to see that movie, Ernest. Ernest, the critical race theory. <laughs> Ernest you can't be teaching these kids theory. this bullshit. Ernest would be leading the capital charge. He would be kicking <laughs> yeah. down he's the in Congress the, He's star. in the Buffalo. He's 100% Q, the Buffalo Q. man. I mean, yeah, he's I mean wearing Q. the Buffalo yeah. suit. You know what I mean, Q? My good friend Q you know told I mean? me to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Know what I mean, Q? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, a series of commercials where he's talking to Ernest Q. Ernest goes on online commercial. and becomes yeah. a fucking alt-right guy. Like, so fast. I just right. go over here on 4chan and find out who's a pedophile. He's he, he, Okay, okay, hold on. Let me build this scene. This is the commercial. I got to kill it's Tom Ernest, Hanks. It's Ernest in a pizza shop, and he's eating a big old slice of pizza. And it's a tight, it's like, you know, just his his face, tight zoom in on just his face and him taking a bite of the pizza. And he goes, you know what? It, you know what? Talking to camera, you know how Ernest does. Mm-hmm. Talking to camera, he takes a bite of pizza, and he goes, you know what's better than uh, what I want to do outside of just eating this pizza is stopping a child trafficking. And it's the camera slowly zooming out, and it's that pizza shop that uh, pizza, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the commercial, and he goes, and it's him pulling out that WW two fucking rifle and doing, <laughs> yeah. 
thing and then just shooting everybody in the goddamn and pizzeria. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it right after I finish this right, big old that. pepperoni pizza. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> yeah. What is this commercial for? QAnon or Pizza Hut? <laughs> Both. It's it's about not wasting food, but it's also a du- yeah, it's a crossover. Sovereign rights. <laughs> Ernest uh, fact checks the Holocaust. Ernest, like, Ernest goes to the Capitol. He's like, I don't think they, he's like, look, I'm not saying they didn't kill a lot of Jews, right, Bird? But six million, that number is highly inflated. I mean, this you know makes what I'm no saying? sense. Why would they do this? He's got a, he's got like a visor on and like those old school adding machines. And he's just like, these numbers don't add up. <laughs> okay. Ernest goes to the concentration camp. Uh, the badger scene. Uh, <laughs> don't ever make this face to a jew don't, don't ever do this to he goes don't you know here's one thing you never do to a jewish person and then he just turns and shoots him into a mass grave oh, oh come Ryan. on jesus they do that all the time <laughs> but he's doing the face well, <laughs> and ray fines from schindler's list is there just in red for some reason i've never seen uh, schindler's list what other that earnest is- classic earnest pitches i mean he died so think, young yeah. he, we could have had so that many is, it is so it is a bummer because i watching him and as good as he is at this i'm sure he was very capable of doing other stuff and he never really i got don't to. think he was i, I man i think I, he was I bet he was i definitely do i i could see him being like a serious actor yeah i'll say this. Like, like you know how Pee Wee went serious I think, yeah. he, I think he'd be a better version of Pee Wee. You know what? I agree. I'd, I'd, I'd redact what I said two seconds. Just like, ago. just like Jim Varney does in his standup. I think he has <laughs> one crutch that he would have to work out. I think he's really wants to be likable. I, I, it'd be very hard for him he's to try and hard to take off that likability and that charm and that broadness. Because honestly, what he would never, what I would like to see him do as a serious actor which is absurd, but let's go with it would be for him to play down. And yeah. that would be, yeah. interesting. that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I like him playing a straight that. man, him playing I a think... straight man in a movie would be like a gritty cop or what it, not gritty even, or just I... like a, a supporting Southern, well, actor. Like an Appalachian guy. Yeah. I could see him like quietly, but intensely swearing. And um, he's cause he has a presence and he definitely has, he's got a voice that's deep and, and commanding if he wants it to be. And it's, it's Creole, but it's also the, it's not thick. Like it's not, well, now I see now y'all now I see down now alligators. It's supposed to be it ain't like that. It, he, is he from Kentucky? I think, I think he's from Kentucky, Lexington. In, or something. He's a, the, he's, uh, a yeah. he's a smoky mountains kind of guy. Am I wrong? Because he got introduced he's not in that Creole. stand-up he's, we watched. I don't think he's she, a, she literally says Creole. She could be lying. She could be well, wrong. Totally. Because it was a... Maybe... No, it was just a New Orleans show. What about... I could see him as a... I, like the bad guy in 48 Hours. Yeah. James Remar. With yeah. The gun. But I don't yeah. know if he gets the anger. But I would like to see it. You know, it's just really about him not doing rubber face stuff, you know, but he he just has that insane. It's kind of like the Jim Carrey situation. We've seen him be so silly. And, you know, Jim Carrey's done plenty of serious roles. Yeah, Lexington. But his face is just such an insane like he he's can, in a, th- a three ninjas movie. Varney, I think he's in High Noon at Mega Mountain. Well, you know, he also did the Beverly Hillbillies movie later on, yeah. which was a little bit more, definitely more subdued. You know, he's still doing like broad comedy, but, you know, he, because he had to do Jed Clampett, it's mostly this stoic, like, I don't understand what's going on right now. He's uh, looking, I his, I his cool performance voice. is looking a little over the top in uh, High Noon at Mega Mountain, I must say. Uh, if you want a cool voice like Ernest, that try title. Smoking for- Four packs of cigarettes a day. Four packs a day. I haven't even smoked one cigarette in my life. Are you serious? <sighs> Not even one. All right, I've tried. Man. And I, I've had three acting roles where I was supposed to smoke. I want to smoke. I've tried. I, I have nah, a theory that I was. To. I have a theory that it looks cool. I have a theory that I cool. was um, hypnotized as a kid because I just can't do it now. Um, but in reality, I drank. Um, Dr. Pepper and cigarette ash. My uncle Let's used talk about to the ending. Ash. No, no, I'm talking about <laughs> the flaming Mo and what? 
Bro. You don't get that reference. That's a Simpsons. What are we at? Five? We gotta get to, <laughs> we gotta get to this ending. What are you what are you a, drinking, Ryan? I did my routine two hours ago. Now I'm just drunk. Okay. All right. You well. you you can't give me two hours of leeway. You tell me two PM, we record at two PM. You oh you were awake for two hours and you have to start drinking. I, I'm awake for two minutes and I got I gotta start. That's that's not healthy, Ryan. Ryan goes to AA. Said it was. We got to green light that movie. I would like to see Ernest, Ernest, <laughs> Ernest, as, Ernest as my AA. counselor. Yeah, yeah. As my sponsor. Now, Ryan. Dude, I would do anything for Ernest, honestly. You got to do it one day at a time. You know what I mean? I, here's I what you never do. He goes, he goes, here's what. Here's what you never do to a bottle of whiskey. And then he just chugs it all in yeah, one. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, you're supposed to be my sponsor. What about what? Ernest grooms a child? <laughs> I got a That's special mission every for you. Movie. That's pretty much every movie. <laughs> I need you to keep this a secret, Will, buddy. Imagine a no, movie and it's there's a no dark side to Ernest, is there? I it's need Ryan POV. to see me hit rock bottom. Well, you're the kid, but it's all POV and it's Ernest talking to you and he kidnapped you and you're in like a cage. Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be I funny. just need some sort of structure Graphic in my life. It. Ernest goes into human trafficking. <laughs> He's like, he just leaves that See, truck it, abandoned and all the bodies are dead. He's just like, just yeah. like corpses. One day, one day I'll be the cartel Run. leader. You see, Verd, one day I'll be the cartel leader. And he's like, Ernest, you left the, you forgot to turn the air conditioning on. He's like, uh oh. E and there's like uh, 50, the most crazy human trafficking tragedy in the. Ernest becomes a Uvalde police officer. <laughs> Just like wearing all this gear and like no, he Ernest would have been Ernest gets a haircut. Here's this movie. Here's okay, the Uvalde. This is a nice simple concept. Here's this is no no this is still the Uvalde school shooting or whatever that place is called. Uvalde is that my saying it right? Yeah. Okay. Actual tragedy. No disrespect. Ernest gets a haircut in the middle of the haircut. He gets a call that his wife, who is a teacher at a school and his kid is there at a, in a school. Shooting Ernest happened. has a wife. <laughs> this is already falling apart. Yeah, Ernest gets divorced. Flawed. Ooh, that's ooh, And that's, and there's no yeah. humor. It's just it's, really sad. It's like it's marriage like, story. It's like I the Adam you. driver. Yeah. 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 Uh, I was, yeah, yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking Adam Sandler and uh, who would marry Ernest? punch drunk love. Yeah, who would marry Ernest? It'd have to be another equal. It would be er it would be Ernest dressed up as a woman. What do you mean? Who would marry Ooh, Ernest? The one with the big tits? That one? Ern when it'd plays, be Ernest yeah. playing himself. Hello, I'm the I'm Ernest with big boobies, and I'm a woman. Dude, he's when Bugs he, like, Bunny. He puts the ball. He puts I'm the Ernest. Bunny. I'm yeah. Ernestina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he plays in dual roles. Jim Vardy yeah. plays both characters. And he's getting divorced. And, and, and it's like, just a beautiful sex scene between the two. Like a gorgeous, <laughs> like. Every day I wake thing. up and I wish you were dead. And then he just beats the shit out of the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have took that Star Wars contract. I think it could have been like her, though. Like him dating a phone. Like a waifu video. Yeah, game. yeah. Oh, it AI. wouldn't be a phone. Would it be the go-kart? Like a, like a, like a doll. He's sexually Ernest attracted to the, the go-kart. <laughs> so never do this. Let's get to the, this let's get to to the an climax. Angry wife. I, love, I love the climax as a kid. Like the scene with the turtles flying down. Yeah. On oh my parachutes. god. Oh, so, the scene. The first scene with the turtle. It's quick. I'll be five seconds. The first scene with the turtle when he's sad and he's taught. He has that stupid little turtle shack that he built he picks up the turtle and he's talking to it face to face he's like, you're my only friend and then it bites him on the nose and he can't get it off his nose and then the people come in and he just tries to play it off like they're yeah. in a turtle hanging off his nose yeah yeah, yeah. That, that shit funny. is fucking funny and then he goes oh no it's just sinuses and so, some it. kid goes it's, it's, it's oh it's is it, it. Yeah. It, comes, <laughs> it's it it comes back every now and then it's a it's a turtle that's fucking funny yeah good stuff and then they sing it off see right through him. So 
Yeah, there's Defending a turtle his, on your face, bro. He attacks the construction workers because he accidentally convinces the chief to sign over the rights to the camp. And within one day, they're, all their trucks are moving in. There's no legal issues. This is Kentucky. It's deregulated. Yeah. All right. Actually, the movie is shot in Tennessee. But anyway, they're getting shit done. So they decide to fight back. And then, like, they're putting on um, war makeup from the chief. Well, and, then the, yeah. and the woman is like, the what are you doing? We can't do this. And it's like, they get into some shit. They're lighting off bombs. They're blowing up gas tanks. They, he essentially Harming commits people. attempted murder when he fills up that golf that golf cart finally pays off he fills it up with explosives and sends it to Lyle Alzado yeah okay which we haven't wrote, mentioned that Lyle down, Alzado is in this which is something he punches All right, I wrote down, in he the asks, nose he asked break, these kids his nose in real life he asked these kids and i wrote the quote he goes get anything that can burn uh and then the kids run like run away and they come back with gas tank, gas tank, gas tank. And then two, the littlest kid comes back with like four Molotov cocktails. Yes. <laughs> they're bad kids. They know but it's like, them. but it's like second it, they run it. So they're running into the bunkers and running out in the, as it's written. So that means these Molotov, they didn't run in and make Molotov cocktails. They were already made and they ran in and just grabbed four Molotov cocktails. This is like Ukraine. Yeah. versus russia they're just read it like you don't have a Molotov cocktail cupboard they like, come from a real war zone just in real... case Ernest, see something else about Ernest is that he would work throughout history you could have like Ernest goes to concentration Ernest, but... Ernest goes to dinosaurville Ernest, Ernest goes to jurassic park oh boy with Freeze chris america. pratt he could be saving america in the revolutionary war doing guerrilla warfare yeah accidentally bayonetting people but Ernest it's always all, kids. He's Ernest always all, he's always got a gang of kids. So Ernest does Thor Love and Thunder. What about Ernest owns a slave? And it's a little black kid, like the one in this movie. And he's like, What? You mean I gotta oh, wait, raise a wait, wait, I wait, 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 wait. No, it's not gotta, Ernest I owns a slave. Ernest is Ernest, a slave. No, because he works on a plantation, but he's like just he's still the it's still Ernest goes yeah, to camp, but he's, he's a ground. He's a, kid. He's a ground he's an Irish indentured on, servant. He's a groundskeeper on a plantation. <laughs> he's a slave. He's a work. He's, he's from like a, Kentucky. No, and it's literally KFC. It's the Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Sanders. <laughs> and he yeah. and then he <laughs> does the owner. he does like the maintenance on the yeah. on the plantation. And he, wants to he be... doesn't he doesn't understand because he's earnest. He's like he's a good good loving, good soul. He doesn't understand that. The concept of slavery so he's like befriends the slaves yeah, and he, would, like, he would assume but that he goes, they're all working there out of their own you know free he just will. doesn't get yeah well, and his he, daddy's so he's like colonel. he's bringing them he's like bringing them and he to grew the, up with the slave to colonel sanders yeah, yeah, yeah. ernest frees he's bringing him a colonel and he's like hey, uh, is a hero. patrice yeah. is thirsty can we get him a glass of water and they're like what no what it's just an uncomfortable movie <laughs> and the colonel sanders is his dad it's like sling like blade, fried, but not chi good. fried chicken and dinner. on a plantation. <laughs> the um, Ernest. Yeah, the what, I'm trying to think of what man. the uh, what the cook guy, the cook dude is going to be. The always the same. Always uh, the same character. Well, I was saying the cook always guy could maybe be the 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 evil slave master with the whip and stuff like that. He's the Colonel Sanders. Oh, he could be the yeah the Colonel Sanders in a bad like bad making bad white, weird white He's... facial hair. Okay, these I cooks. We deep fake Colonel Sanders. Get the real one. Yeah. Oh, we deep fake his ass in. He so these cooks are engineering geniuses, and they are the worst cooks. In Ernest, I think what are I they kind of like? Made, Back they to made the future? a future like. To, I love is that it. What Doc Brown? For? Is it like a Doc where it's Brown? like they're they're obviously smart in one specific way, but they're I mean, somehow. Is... Sandwich I chefs. love the reoccurring gag. Garbage. I love the yes. reoccurring gag of eggs erroneous. And I've been saying eggs erroneous my entire life. Like me and me and me and a friend who I've had like my longest friend. We occasionally it's have like your wife, dude. You can say you got a no, wife. No, my wife does not. Podcast. We are not on speaking terms. We are not my, friends. My girlfriend um, did not like Ernest. 
Same, dude. My girl, my girlfriend was so pissed when we were hanging out and we were hugging. Me and my girlfriend <laughs> were like hugging, and dude, we were like holding hands when we were watching it, and like mm-hmm. we were in love, and we were looking at each other, and we were just hugging and holding hands. And yeah. she hated Ernest, so I can relate on but that. She, end. But she I love you. having a girlfriend that loves yeah. me. She's hot too, dude. She's real. What's her name? Yeah, and we were hugging, dude. What's she look like? Uh, Ernest. <laughs> Ernest. Ernest, Ernest dates Ryan. <laughs> That's the next movie. Ernest dates Ryan, and it's just me. It's a it's a awkward rom com between me and Ernest falling in love. He could play a NASCAR driver. I could see Ernest in NASCAR. Yeah, I could see him as a pit crew. Yeah, uh, he'd be great. And Sasha Baron Cohen is the fucking. He's NASCAR in the pit driver. crew. Things are going well. They're winning races, and then. It, in Los he's Angeles. not a lead. The thing is, the Ernest driver, is the NASCAR driver, is stabbed to death at a gas station in LA. <laughs> I just want to. No, Ernest. Ernest drives across country and shits in a diaper. A little tough. Uh, oh. <laughs> I miss my girlfriend. I need my girlfriend back. She's going out of space. NASA, that space lady. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Astronaut. Yeah. Ernest I, goes to space, I, and then the movie is me... just that. So furious that they made a movie about that lady and didn't have her put a diaper on. Natalie Portman put a diaper on and shit in her oh, pants. Oh, what? Wait, they... is this real? Yeah, they made a movie about the the, the crazy. They didn't cast guy. Ernest. They cast Natalie Portman and uh, there's no diaper Thor. scene. And, and no, there's no, she, there's no diaper scene. Ernest? And that's... Was she playing Ernest? No, she's going <sighs> to outer space because that's where Ernest lives. Dude's trippy. It's confusing Ryan because he doesn't understand what a movie without Ernest. <laughs> I haven't seen one. Ernest in watched... the MCU. I mean, Disney could bring him Bro, back. I hate this. You know what? I hate this. I hate all of this. Adam's gone. Adam's in Florida right now. And it, did I just turn into the new Adam? You guys just can make fun of me. What do you mean? Adam died in a plane crash. No, he died of dysentery and they had to crash the plane into a mountain because they didn't want it to infect the so rest bad. of the people. Because <laughs> it smelled. <laughs> It just, yeah, right after he Dude, shit I'm himself go pee- on the plane, the pilot went, <laughs> It's a gritty, it's a gritty um, final scene when the pilot is flying into the mountain. Very serious, serious, suspenseful music. And he goes, uh, Brother Adam, to my brother, I just, this is the black, this is the black box footage. My brother Adam, I love you. It's very serious. I'm sorry about all that things I said at Thanksgiving and um, about the whole situation, me flying this sucker in, Adam getting dysentery. I just got to say, ew. And then. That's like, man, that's it's like Sully part two. Oh, he would be a good Sully with a little white mustache. I would love it if you were watching a movie like Sully or any Clint Eastwood movie, Unforgiven, and then Ernest is just like in the background. Yeah, like a, and he has like a big mustache, like a handlebar mustache. He's like a cowboy, and he's like, you know, you don't you you kind of see him in the background, and you're like, okay, that I guess I think that's Jim Varney, and then you see him like hammering something, and then he starts like he like accidentally like hits his thumb. Yeah, holds his starts, th- holds his hand up, shaking it. Like, hops on one leg backwards, and then comes the opposite direction off camera backwards. It is and, insanely and his, vaudeville. And his foot gets stuck in a bucket, and he's yeah. like kicking around a bucket. It is. It, it all is incredibly vaudeville. He he died at what was he fifty? Yeah, fifty years old. Oh, that's so young. And he had just started moving into voice work. He was in Toy Story, as. Oh, slinky yeah. dog and he was in atlantis and he could have had a career huge the last 20 years voice. just doing voice work yeah just endless I could, cartoons i think Family at some guy. point i mean he, 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 he yeah he would have got he would have got some serious role at some point and like some little bit role in something oh, yeah. indie and then it could have well with all the tv shit they're doing now yeah yeah you know he could have been in sopranos they go to app they oh, go to kentucky yeah. Yeah, and Tony Soprano meets Jim Varney, shakes him down. That um, 
God, what or a- Christopher writes an Ernest movie. That'd be a good <laughs> episode. You know, he's like, like an Ernest joins the mafia. You know, it's the uh, it's Ernest, but he's you know um, he's like uh, he's like uh, has to do a hit. You know, but he's hooked on heroin. He's got a mouthy girlfriend in this one. Ernest in um, Stranger Things. Ooh, yeah. You know, that, they brought back Robert England. They would have put him in this movie. They brought oh, yeah. back all these act, uh, 80s actors. Yeah. Sh- the, Sean I, Astin. Yeah, they would have totally. He would have been, I don't know. Yeah, just make him some sort of a mechanic, some sort of a Schneider character. This is the question. Did they steal his outfit from Schneider from, uh, what was the show? The show with Mackenzie Phillips and Valerie Bertinelli. Valerie? Uh, no, it was uh, One Day at a Time. No. Yeah, One one Day at a Time. This is it. We'll love your life. Go on and have a ball. Yeah, One Day at a Time. It was uh, Valerie Bertinelli, uh, Eddie Van Halen's wife. Anyway, there's a character named Schneider who was the the superintendent who wore literally the exact same outfit, the same vest, and would come up. And he was more of like a weird Lothario, had a little mustache, and like, hey, oh, yeah, uh, this Mrs. guy, Mrs. Romano over here, like very that thing. But it's the same outfit, pretty much. With the cigarettes. Yeah. With oh yeah, he had cigarettes. The right vest. Up. He's yeah. wearing a denim outfit. I mean, this is that was a look at the time, though. This is outrageous. <clears throat> Because Ernest is born in what, like 49? Ernest wears a hat. This is a big difference between him and Schneider. And Schneider has a mustache. Ernest wears a hat throughout. His hat never falls off of his head, but once and Ernest goes to camp. It defies all physics. Like when he gets hit with the tray and his face molds into the food tray. Oh, yeah, classic. In the food fight, his hat never leaves his body. Is he bald? Is Ernest bald? Oh, he's a beautiful so. head of hair. So the real Jim Varney, it's just, one thing just he, the he spent his money on was he drove a DeLorean. <laughs> nice. Which is fucking tight. Nice. So I had a, a, a friend you, whose, whose dad had a DeLorean in Omaha, Nebraska. I've seen one in real life. I touched one in real life. Have you been then, have you sat down in one? No. They didn't they didn't like us being around it but it was just sitting in his garage they did not have they weren't rich we need one more <laughs> but, pitch. earn it okay i when i was peeing i heard uh y'all's pitches Ernest does rush hour and it's instead of chris tucker it's Ernest and jackie chan <laughs> jackie. And it's, the, it's, it's the same yeah it's the same movie it's just yeah. Ernest does rush hour Ernest goes to china <laughs> that's the sequel Ernest does that, rush hour two. Ernest goes to China. That's the title. All of those words. I, I like the idea of it's, I don't know if it's a movie, but it's Ernest is like Kim Jong-un, you know, he's obsessed with like Dennis Rodman and a couple little pieces oh, yeah. of American he loves culture. Ernest. He loves Ernest. So Jim Varney has to go over and impress Kim Jong-un as a, as a doing, he has to stay in character the whole time. Cause like, Kim Jong Un doesn't understand that it's not an actor playing a character. He thinks it's real. So Jim Varney has to go over there as as Ernest and constantly be buffoonish and knocking over things. He's got to bring a himself. pack of badgers. He like yeah. is, he's like Carrot Top travels with all his props. He's got to travel with a fucking badger, a World War II uh, assault rifle, yeah. a uh, <laughs> like an entire bus full of children. Cause every movie is about him being a camp counselor, except the prison one. And that's why the prison one's not the best one because it's too real and it gets too close to adult seriousness. But that has the that pen scene. The pen scene is so funny. <sighs> Can we watch it right now? He's chewing on the pen. No, I know. Can we watch it right now? Can you find it on YouTube right now? It's not, it's not funny to listen to. It's like a visual. I don't scene. give a shit about remember, our listeners. I remember a funny scene in the jail <laughs> one where they're talking about something and it's the, the chef character who's now like a prison guard and then his old man friend. They're bank and fr- guards. They're, they're bank, bank guards. guards. And at some point they're just having a conversation and then apropos of nothing, a pop tart pops up in a toaster and the, the, <laughs> the old guy turns around and shoots it. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> and I remember really enjoying the look on his face when he turns around and shoots the the pop tart or toast or whatever. Yeah, I it just was. want to make a movie like this. I don't Still, think it's that yeah, every I mean, comedian script does. wise, I don't think it's that hard. I don't think every comedian You does. just have to become extremely famous first. Yeah. You become a TikTok star you and then you can and then you can make a movie like this. Come up with a character that really, really works. That's the main thing. And then you oh can Oh my kind god, of I got one. What is Who? it? I've told you about this character. It's called the Slippery Wimp. Basically, <laughs> it's it's just like Ernest. I get fully nude. And okay. like this is the thing. Okay. The whole point. I get fully nude. Well, it, fo- I get fully nude and then fully lubed. Fully uh-huh. nude, fully lubed. <laughs> and they call me the slippery wimp. And I'm just always getting the I'm always getting into trouble. PG trouble. I'm always getting mm-hmm. the PG you're trouble. Nude. But I'm nude. That's, that's I'm, the, that's nude. The issue. I'm nude and lubed. And so I'm walking around life nude and lubed. And uh, in, dicks I can everywhere never, I can, and greasy, you know, like no, no, like, no, no, you can't see it because the grease will cover the lube because it's I, a here's PG, a scene, here's probably a scene. PG 14. We'll probably do TV 14. I think yeah. it's like a Mr. Bean. The thing type is, character. though, I'm sli- it's a hundred percent of Mr. Bean, and I we haven't even talked about Mr. Bean, which blows my mind because he's another comedic. Well, genius. I can see you being mute as a character, so you're greased up, you're slick, you go to a library, and this is also a character like you walk, I have. you like walk down the stairs and then you just slip and you just slide. No, I slide. Yeah, no, fully I always nude. slide down and everywhere. And you just like are all greased up and then you like slide into like a group of women, <laughs> yeah. like young women. Yeah. And they're so trying you to get, get it. you off, but you're all slick and greasy and you're like sliding around and you can't yeah. touch. And yes. Your dicks, so like, your dicks, dicks swinging around yeah. everywhere because you're I, trying to okay. do the... And like I want to clarify the guard tries to grab you. And I want to clarify you. this. Is, this is an actual bit that I already do. No, uh, I'm st- actually, I was get, actually yeah, it's funny you're slippery. saying that because I just wrote a thing called the slippery wimp when we started talking that I I I have a little of a development deal. I saw you. He got Mike just grabbed a note, pin and pad. And now that it's written down, it legally is mine. But no, the thing is, it's always the cops trying to arrest me and they just can't because I'm too slippery. What does a slippery wimp sound like? Does he talk or is he mute? I talk. Yeah. No, I'm talking. I'm like I'm cocky. What's it? I say, come voice? and fight me. But what does the come slippery and fight wimp me? want? Or yeah, he wants his... to be a camp counselor. What is he the wants to be? He wants. Want? He wants to. He wants to stick into love. He wants to get sticky. He wants to have sex. Yeah, he wants no, to be attached. Has, uh, no, oh no, no, he has sex. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy has okay. sex. So he wants to find a woman and settle down with her. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, what? what does he want? What, what does he, he want? want? He wants to be sticky. What does that mean? What it like? What do you mean? What does that mean? What do you, so he, wants, he wants his body to be the maple opposite syrup? of lubed. He wants mm-hmm. maple syrup. It's a curse being that slippery. Tar- he's he a wants wimp. to be tar. He's a, ba- he's a wimp. <laughs> Yeah, he I wants get to that. Have tar poured on him. Yeah, he wants. So to- he's like, so while he's slipping down the, while he's slipping into this group of ladies, your scenario created. He's going, oh God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, See, sorry. He's just saying too, sorry too much. He's a wimp. This is the problem with comedians; they can't make it. Everything is a joke, so nothing's a joke. It's too. This silly. is the problem with comedians. Uh, they little- do jokes, and the things they do are jokes. And here's the problem with comedians: is Ernest they're doing jokes. Is more than a comedian. He wasn't a good comedian. He was essentially he was a great actor. He was and he comedy. Had heart. Comedians and he had aren't soul. funny. Yes. And you know, you're the slippery wimp. You can't pin <laughs> no Brian can't be pinned down. Come at me, bro. <laughs> can't, is that the catchphrase? He wants the to make a movie. Come at but me, bro. He doesn't want to make a movie. It'd be very funny if uh the slippery wimp was like fell down like a giant hill, like in Silver Lake or something. And he just slid down the street and In- inevitably slipping, just- In- infinitely slipping. Yeah, just never stopping, infinitely slipping, just traveling across the world, across the globe. He slips once. He goes down to South America and then just and then just keeps sliding into China, out of like Silver Lake, into Echo Park. And then into Arizona, and then into, and it just keeps getting bigger. It just never stops slipping. All he wants to do is stick. I think I the see, final Ernest movie. See what I'm I think, saying? 
I the final it. Ernest movie should have been Ernest goes to South America and finds Joseph Mengele. <laughs> and it's him. And he's like, I'm looking for a real bad Nazi. Okay. Yeah. It's... He's a, he's hiding out here. We're trying to find him. Ernest, they, they skip the goes to in the title. And it's just Ernest P. Worrell, Nazi hunter. And he's attacked by natives. They like trick him and leave him totally fucked out in the middle of nowhere. And he's like, because Ernest is luck. always Ernest. And then a nice old German man takes care of him. He's like, oh, you are so nice and so thankful. I'm so happy to be rescued by you. And little does he know, this is actually Joseph Mengele. He's a real, real, really, real, 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 real Nazi. <laughs> no, he's a real, 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 Mike, real, real, okay. real, 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 nice guy. Uh, he's not a Nazi. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He, Uncle Beautiful. Joseph, he makes lamps. Beautiful be. lamps this guy makes. And then he sees like the lamp and there's like an eyelid. Yeah. And he's it's... like looking around the room and he's like, huh, huh, huh. And he's like, his oop, head's bouncing oop, everywhere. Oop, and he sees oop. like, hold on. I like parts. the idea of this guy who uses human skin to make lamps more like more than one lamp. It's not like he'd made one lamp, but he's still putting the eyelids. No, he's better designer than that. This is comedy. I know. I know. That's why I'm saying I this like is this comedy. Some I'm of the sorry. early lamps. Oh, you I'm like stopping. This. I'm no, stopping like, the entire flow chair. of this bit to say I like it. The leather chair <laughs> has like feet on the ground. Yeah. There's like four oh, literal feet. feet, literal human deca- like they're de- decomposing. What's the word? <laughs> and they're like, it's like <laughs> the actor is just a Native American guy pretending to be Joseph Mengele. Who it turns out he's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it turns out when his daughter dies, he's not. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Also, I like the specific sign language. If the man, yeah. what about the what about the ending? So they have the guy from National Lampoon's Animal House, who's the bad guy from the construction company. Yeah, he's oh. John Vernon. He's in okay. Trouble in Little yes. China. Totally yes, yes, cast, yes. But we need Ernest kind of in the MCU. We need Ernest in the MCU immediately. This dude's immortal. Just like he's Bugs not. Bunny he died. He's not. That's the problem. Who would you cast as today as Ernest? Ernest? Died. The Who actor would you cast died? today as Ernest? Mm-hmm. Me. Reboot. Easy. No, let's just Me. say like a f- established actor. Okay, so we go female. Do we get like? Uh, oh yeah. Well, no, you don't go female. Jessica Chastain as Ernest with her beautiful red hair. <laughs> no, it's got to be a man's plight. It's got to be a white man. Pat. Right now, yeah, I mean, it's got to be a white Carey's man. I'm being the serious. Obvious go-to. Yeah, but I'm thinking gritty. Schneider. Rob Schneider. Old, old Ernest. Let's go old Ernest. So 20 years. When's the last Ernest movie? 15 Let's we go young ago? Ernest reboot. No, no, yeah. no. Fresh. Tom no, Holland no, no, no. Let's style. go old man. Let's go old man style. Gene old Hackman. actor. Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Gene Hackman out of retirement. Ooh, Jeff Goldblum. Robert oh, yeah. De Niro. Ernest. Jack oh, Nicholson. A, yeah, Wait, deconstructed you Ernest. Of, uh, I'm Ernest. Uh, yes. I'm so Ernest. what I'm Ethan thinking. Hammer. Ethan, Ethan Hawke. How you doing? I just did like, not get uh, as much dude. excitement uh, as what you guys just said. <laughs> Sorry. I think Harvey Keitel. Harvey Keitel. Couple of beautiful campers. The kids oh. going to the Kit Kat Club. Whoa. Ernest, just, Ernest just jack it off. Show me how you suck a cuck. Uh-oh. My internet froze. Is this coming back? Is this the way the podcast ends? Here we go. I lost the internet for like five minutes. Oh, geez. We were on a roll. Hold on. We were on up. a roll. We were. We, Ernest is in South America. We Pauline, we, we Pauline kaled the entire thing. Astute. We give a passionate review of the film. I mean, this is a great movie. Ryan checking his doorway. There's a shooter in the building. Yeah, it's probably active. Or inactive, probably inactive shooter. What about uh, Ernest? Sorry. Gets, Ernest gets paralyzed. <laughs> it's a million dollar baby. This, sort this of. might as well be a two parter. We might as well just start the second part now. Ugh, we got to wrap this shit up. I'm tired. Ernest. Goes to camp. Where were? What were we talking about? Um, 
He's in South America. He's in South Where America. He's at. hunting Nazis. He, um, his furniture made out of, there's furniture with human skin and feet. I could see him uh, stumbling his way into Watergate, maybe. <laughs> well, then he's like Forrest Gump. Yeah, now yeah, we're just yeah. Forrest Gump and Forrest Gump Ernest. is very is similar to Ernest. Very similar. You know, Ooh, I'd Forrest, like that crossover. Forrest Gump is the serious Ernest. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's very similar. It's a lot of heart. He's simple. Ernest but fucked he, a girl with AIDS one time. <laughs> Ernest fucks a slut. Yeah. Yeah. But Ernest, the, a, a Ernest, gets, Ernest. A, Ernest goes through AIDS. And it's a trilogy. It's like a John Wick style trilogy. What about Ernest in Vietnam? I mean, that's very funny. Like, oh, that could be, yeah. And he's I'm just going like over. He's like, he's, yeah. He's like very like proud. He's like, I'm going overseas, and then he's like a janitor. I'm surprised but, there isn't an Ernest in the army. Like, there is. That's a there very prime situation for a, a serious drill. That's a movie. To, is it really? Ernest in the Army, 1998, straight to video. But yeah, he was in. Oh the no, 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 no! You're thinking of that uh, Polly Shore movie. Have you seen Ernest Goes to Africa? That movie's fucking nuts. It's shot in L.A. It does not er look like Ernest Africa. saves Mandela. <laughs> Ernest Ernest frees Mandela. <laughs> Ernest commits white genocide. He's hanging out with Idi Amin, and oh, this is real good. This tastes Ernest, good. He's eating food. Hold on. Mike's gone now. Mike's frozen. <laughs> Can you hear us? I'm gone. You're what? I'm here. Your oh, joke you're back. You you're froze. Back you're 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 <laughs> the joke I'm froze. They, some FBI agent cut that off. What was the... Try and do it again. So yeah. I, th off. I think I said, uh, was Ernest... Ernest and when Ernest goes to Africa, he meets up with Edie Amin and they're having dinner. And he's like, this tastes good. <laughs> what is in this? Yeah. Okay. You know, like, it was right when you said this day tastes good is when it cut out. So it was like, what the fuck did he say? <laughs> Kennedy was murdered by the FBI. Well, he's That'd a secret a good, service agent. A JFK. And he's like, he's like jogging alongside Kennedy's convertible, you know, and he gets like this distracted. And then Kennedy, get, Kennedy gets shot in the head. He's like, uh oh, and he's like yeah. trying to put the brain back in. <laughs> <laughs> over Kennedy's head. He's like, Ew. And she's just crying over the corpse of her husband. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm talking about back to the lift, back to the lift, back <laughs> to the lift, back to the lift. You know what I'm talking. You know what I mean? Or Ernest is a patsy. He's in the book depository. Yeah, this yeah, is he's... this is why <laughs> these movies are fucking brilliant. The title is brilliant. Like already we're doing so like medea goes to jail just stole that shit well Ernest, have a, in costello meet yes. frankenstein it's the same shit but yes it's vaudeville but it tells you what it is you can put Ern but then he does this character and you see it once and then you can put Ernest in any goddamn situation and it's funny as fuck imagine Ernest being taken out of that movie theater or the police department and by the dallas pd and then um, Ernest jerks off Jack in Ruby movie theater. Yeah. Jack Ruby shoots him and he's just like, ow, like in the side. <laughs> or it misses it misses him. Owie, and owie, it, owie, it, owie, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I did not we, shoot Kennedy. I was in the book depository, but like I just I touched the rifle. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, yeah. And the Let CIA me set him up. I'll shoot this thing. Yeah. Okay, burn. Uh, hey, here's one thing you don't want to do with a gun and then he puts it in his mouth and <laughs> shoots himself you do face. never when you see the president you never <laughs> never never point a loaded pistol at him like this this <laughs> then he kills he, john f kennedy or he's back in time he's it's just john a beautiful Peach. sniper shot from like uh, across the grass you know yeah or he's like john gorgeous Wilson. that was a good shot He's John Wilkes Booth at Ford Theater and he shoots Abraham Lincoln <laughs> on stage. And he's like, eee! he's like, makes a big, starts running around. Oh. Ernest. He could, Ernest I mean, he through could, time. And he meets Bill and Ted and he meets Rick and Morty. And he meets here's the thing about he, Ernest. You're right. If he wouldn't have died, he would have been a pop culture, like he would have been in everything right now. He is an American. This God is American. Goddamn, goddamn soul. If Ernest 
I, Hey, you know what? If Ernest was alive today, he would be president. He Here's, could bring the left I and the wish. right together. He can bring the country folk and the city folk together. He could, you know, he can make America great again for real. What would, what would be his, his, uh, hope change? What would be his one word? His, well, his big thing would be like, no, I'll tell you what it is real quick. His one word poster thing would be E W W W W. Ew. And then just a picture of him. And it's just like, his, like a cool uh, red and blue. You guys he's running, on a, it he's running on a critical race theory platform pro Q and on. I, I, I had a theory. Ew. I had a theory the and I just, just checked it out and it was correct. Uh, if you go to Pornhub, there is Ernest goes to town on a gilf. Um, I, I knew there had to be a, some Ernest. It's streaming free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on Pornhub. I can put a link in the. Damn, I, I used Ernest. to have that on just, VHS. There's just like a naked man named Ernest who's having gay sex <laughs> in one of the pictures yeah. I saw on Google. That's one image of search. The funny. So I just put in the chat. I just put a link to the Pornhub. Uh, oh yeah, William, movie. you got to turn safe search off. Oh, come on. So Ernest, I could see Ernest um, Not running on an anti-CRT my... platform. Because I'm afraid what it'll do to me. What? Well, this mean, is yeah, it'll e turn this you is on. E A R N E S T. Well, they're having to get around some some laws. But Le I mean legalities. Legalities, yeah. but yeah, there's a fellow with jeans on. He does he, he, he doesn't have his vest. Well, he is takes he, it is off. He can't, is he a camp counselor? He got a little too. He got a little too sticky, if you know what I mean. Like a certain like the thing Not that a slippery mean. wimp always wants. You know what I mean? Not what I mean. What about yeah. could the slippery wimp meet up with Ernest? Do you think? Passing Honestly, the torch. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it's a pass the torch type situation. Oh my <laughs> there <we> god! Go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right. Is this Ernest? It's an old lady fingering herself. That's a, a beautiful gilf. backyard. Gilf. What's is that a, a grandma? I'd like to. There's fuck? a handyman with Ernest. Yeah, hat. grandma. I'd like yeah. to. William's showing us this porn hub bit. Now we're just watching porn. Get out of here with this. Might go to the best it. part. Go to what? What do you got? Ads. This is a treatise for uh, how big the pop cultural phenomenon of. Ernest has trickled but down. This isn't Ernest. He's not doing the voice. He's not doing the yard work well. That's why you know it's not Ernest because he's not. That's not how you do yard work. This dialogue would is, never have a tattoo. This performer is not very good. I'm I'm trying, I this ain't this ain't the Ernest I knew. <laughs> he's a Mexican. Wait, what's he saying? This ain't the Ernest I grew up. He's speaking he says, Spanish. <laughs> They're just speaking Spanish. Okay. Yeah. The girl. Okay, Dang, he's got a nice tuchus though. It's French. Stop. Wait, now we're just watching. This is weird. I like watching porn with my guys. But it's not good porn. Like, if it, it'd be weird to watch good porn. I mean, there's a weird porn like that. I'm, I'm very comfortable. Here's the thing. Adam's going to be so pissed he missed that we watch porn on the, on the live. He's not. Is he allowed to watch Here's the porn? Thing. He's trying to get us to do it every episode. Ernest is today would be mexican that's what i've realized watching that gardener thing or a mexican earnest could really be working in like in all over south america so joseph like mangale yeah. extracts his nut impregnates a bunch of women and at uh -huh. the end of Ernest captures joseph mangale he kills joseph mangale you know using body parts and furniture from around the house or a turtle. He put he puts a snapping turtle on. Yeah, his it's thing. definitely like, yeah. Not even there's a snapping then, turtle. It's just a normal house turtle. Yeah. But then that there's a montage of women all over South America, Chile, Brazil, um, you know, all those other countries, Argentina, and then they're having they're giving birth to newborn babies, and all the newborn babies have little hats, little on. hats on. Yeah. And it's like okay. The new so when you just artists. yeah. When you just said that, I pictured a hospital, um, whatever the child unit is with all the babies and the things. And instead of just like, wah, 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 instead of just babies crying, you just hear a chorus of 
ew, ew, <laughs> ew, ew, just like 15, ew, like unsynchronized ews. And it's just hundreds oh, of babies and little Yeah, containers. and you just, and ew, like, ew, 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 ew. I'm talking about wow, wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm talking about, oh, wow. I'm talking about wow, wow. I would love it if her Here's one thing you never do to your mother's titty. <laughs> so, yeah. Ernest oh. is so goddamn funny, dude. Ernest goes, I'm going to watch it again. He's tonight. irreplaceable. I'm going to watch it tonight. He's irreplaceable. Yeah, there's no other actor. There's no, it is really like that. I don't it's think that's, it's, it's too singular. Ernest. I don't think there's any. He was it's so connected Ernest. to that one character. Of that people called Jim Varney Ernest. Yeah, for sure. He he's doesn't have another name. He's Ernest. He has a name, Jim Varney. <laughs> no, he's Ernest. But like he's he's iconic. And yeah, he's yeah. unfortunately oh, man. like all beautiful creations of God, they're temporary. Mm -hmm. He was a temporary just, person. He yes. flew too close to the sun. He did not fly too close. He smoked a bunch he of cigarettes. Levels of success so. that no one has ever reached. He brought the sun to him. He had a four uh, picture deal. Okay, this is incredible. He iconic. It's like a Richard Simmons. It's like a um, wait. Richard Simmons is that the? He's like a Baba Booey. He's like a, a one of a kind. A, a, yeah. a one of a kind character that can never be replaced. Can he, never I'll be say this. If Ernest was alive today, he would have a TikTok. Okay. And that would be. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Cheech and Chong. He'd, he'd be number one cameo. Whatever the, the oh, next. Oh, my God. T his he cameo would blow would up be, on cameo. That would be his oh, income. Would yeah, be cameo. He would never. He could do it for like a thousand bucks a pop and still do, do well. Also, I do like the idea that he'd be like an Emmy winning actor. He'd get into some gritty. Like you said. Walter, oh, yeah. some unrelated Walter. Martha, Martha Kelly's up for a fucking, Emmy. I know amazing. <laughs> he could be in euphoria. I could yeah. be the next. Okay. I could be the next, uh, I could be you the next I mean, Zendaya? because like I, I, I did enough shows with Martha and watch her get a fucking Emmy. I'll, I'm going to go straight up Ernest. This is what I tell Ryan all the time. Because Martha's like 50 years old. I'm like, when you're 50 years old, that's when you're gonna be successful. That's you want another you want to know the difference between in that in this analogy. Martha quit drinking when she was about the age I am now. Well, and quit then, drinking. Hey, yeah, I want to see what drunk Martha would be like though. Uh, Not successful. Yeah. You are drunk, Martha Kelly. Yeah, you are drunk, Martha. No, I am not. I thank you, but no, I am not. Martha Kelly is an earnest type character. I mean, she kind of plays I really same wish I was Martha. She was she's a marriage so story. funny. She yeah, Mar I love her. And when I say I am not her, I mean, I'm better than her. And I'm so much funnier. And I'm so much uh -huh. cooler. That's a, you're cooler. Takes a lot of confidence to say that you're yeah. a big man. And I appreciate you for being open. Like Bold. That. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, brave. Brave is what I would. The Thank word I you. Would use. That's I didn't want to bring that up. Yeah, I'm a brave man. Okay, here's the last one. Ernest coaches the University of Pennsylvania football team, <laughs> and he's like walking in the in the boys' locker room, and he hears a loud, wet slapping noise, and there's Sandusky. He's the towel boy or whatever. Yeah, he's like yeah. the yeah. He's like the... Sandusky. He's just railing this 14 year old boy, and Ernest is just like. Ew. I want to be a coach one day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe, yeah, what's I think goal? we need to take a look at this Sandusky guy. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's good with the kids. Yeah, he's he like, could. He exposes this scandal, but more just because he wants to be coach. No, he exposes it on accident. Like yeah, he yeah. slips, he slips on something, and it literally pulls a curtain down, and everybody yeah. sees him fucking a child. Uh oh. Yeah, but it's like a real slapstick. So yeah, he gets like, thrown into the role of head coach. <laughs> and this is that's just a minor yeah, like story bump for like 10 minutes. That's and then the first the five the minutes. Then yeah. the rest <laughs> of the movie is a classic, you know, sports film. Yeah. 
with Ernest what's being the, one the coach. Den- what's the one yeah. with Denzel? He randomly gets a monkey to be like, you know, like chimpanzee. Chimpanzee is his, his uh, is his, is his like assistant coach. He's not doing well, and he goes to. He's like, Joe Pa, I need some advice, and then Joe Pa dies. Yeah, and he's just like, oh man, what am I gonna do? And they're like, if he believes himself, he will catch the football or whatever. He like, yeah, he teaches them some old Native American tips and tricks, and the team is able to win the big game. How with how the help of a Ernest Sicilian get man? Shot? He his magic. He believe his heart is good. Yeah, he's a Native American by the end. You're talking about Ernest goes to camp now, so he's too pure. Yeah. He's like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ernest that's gets crucified. <laughs> <laughs> the last temptation of Ernest. <laughs> Ernest. No, no, Ernest, no. Ernest, Ernest's final sin. No, Ernest. please don't crucify me. I am not the son of God. They're like, he's the son of God. It's like life of yeah. Brian. He he crucifies himself. Nobody cru- he accidentally staples himself to a fucking thing because he's not good at carpentry. Like he's up there like building the cross and they accidentally hammers his own hand into it. And then the, somehow the accidentally hammers his other hand into it. Ooh. And then somehow and he goes, Oh, I think Ernest gets cru- crucified. It'd be a beautiful Christian family film. Yeah. They run it on the Kirk, Kirk Cameron circuit. Maybe like Kirk, Cameron Kirk Cameron directed. I was going to say yeah. Mel Gibson. Oh yeah, Mel Gibson directs. Mel Gibson directs. Yeah, Ernest like a gets tor- torture porn version of the crucifixion. All right. I mean, I I think we've really gone all the I way. We've, yeah, I think we've covered we, all we the made bases. a million child molestation jokes. Three yeah. stars. It's a great I, movie. I five stars. Did you say three? I mean, for an adult, it's pretty terrible. Oh, I think I actually gave it two stars last night. You don't understand comedy, William. I'm a big Ernest goes to a jail guy. I like. Oh, so like you do jail. understand comedy? They're, they're all five. Any Ernest movie is a five star movie. I give too many five stars. I got to be more critical. No, you don't. For who? The audience. Who are you being critical? What? Who? Look, I Adam's you dead. Make- we gotta. Now is the time for the show to take off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mourning, bro. I'm mourning yeah. still. I hope he. I hope he's in heaven. I God. hope his dysentery mist doesn't get into any civilized city because it's going to cause a crazy black plague. Let's plug Mike. Let's plug this shit. What do you got going on? Plug, oh. your, plug your stuff for the love of God. Oh, you came man. in, you rescued us. You're out of COVID, huh? I think I'm out of COVID today. I hope I think so. I still feel kind of garbagey, uh, but I'm, I think I'm on the way out, but I got a podcast called the international news service. That's uh, real dumb. You know, we make fun of uh, crazy news stories. And then uh, I got a band called Dracula's and we're going on tour for most of September and riverboat gamblers have a couple shows as well. My other band will be out in early september in denver colorado the dracula's tour is all over the west coast though oh denver Amazing. i have friends in denver i will John i'll LA. tell them to go please yeah well, let me get the info i'll text you the, or i'll text for the info dude dracula's riverboat gambler mike weeby is listeners this dude good music coming out of this guy oh thank you thank you i'm also doing the high plains comedy festival in denver that same time around the there you go Riverboat i know um um adam for Clayton the love Hall. of god go to this look up mike weeby what about people who don't live in denver they want to see you on you YouTube. Now. oh you don't uh, live in denver then at mike off. weeby w-i-e-b-e on twitter rs mike weeby on instagram i'll put all the shit that i'm doing on there there you go. Follow Mike on Twitter. Follow him on Instagram. If, I, you know, if you're around to these shows, go to these shows. Buy tickets. Don't show up. Or just show up. I'll let you in for free. I'm buy merch. Giving. No, he Pay makes me buy money. tickets. I'll Pay say Mike Weeby, Mike Weeby did my credits on my comedy album. Um, he did a credit song uh, called I Can't Die. And if you look up I Can't Die on Spotify, the only track from my stand-up album that you can listen to is the song. I Can't Die by Mike Weeby and his friend. I can't think. I remember his name right now. Zach Blair. Zach Blair. Zach Braff. Zach Braff. 
<laughs> Mike and Zach. Uh, and one of my favorite songs, and I like it, and not because it has anything to do with me, but appreciate you. Well, well, I love doing it. I can't wait to make the video. I don't have any. Cool William, movie. what are you doing? What I new don't have any MCU cool movies? Thing? Yeah. I don't have any of that stuff coming out. I don't think I'm working on any of those. Uh, I don't know. I'm working on some random ass shit. Follow me on Twitter. Here's the thing. If you have listened to this podcast and you've gotten this far, you have to rate and subscribe or rate and review us on iTunes. You have to do That's it. That's the first time yeah. we've asked that to happen. It's very. If you like Mike more than Adam, please tell us. Oh my god. Online. Rub it in Adam's face. No, because then I'm gonna be the new Adam. Good. Fuck you, Ryan. See, you're already doing it. This is just how I <laughs> eventually it'll be me, Mike, and Martha Kelly. Mm-hmm. Making Ernest gets crucified jokes. Joseph Mangala Martha, jokes. Martha's a huge fan of the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. Martha's oh, like too, literally she's like, odd, her favorite. like yeah, obviously. Like okay. yeah, you know what? About- I don't think I'm interested in working with her anymore. I don't think we can. I don't think her taste in movies is going to gel with me. Okay, Mike. That honestly, is- I should have told you before you came on. William, uh, he applied to do the credits for the all those chipmunk movies and got mm, denied. Yeah. Immediately got denied, and then he had to settle for Doctor Strange and uh, Thor. Thor. Well, she's also a big fan of Sallow, One Hundred and Twenty Nights of Sodom. Oh, a great movie. Our episode number four, one of our most popular episodes. Hey, what are you guys doing? You want to just hang out on, you want to end the episode now and then just hang out on Zoom? No. No, not at all. I wasn't talking to be you. over with. <laughs> okay, so I think here's how we're going to end the episode. I think, we, I say we go out with Ernest's beautiful song that he sings over the- Oh, yeah. The, oh, my least no. favorite scene in the movie when I was a kid, but now one of my favorites. No joke. Yeah. I yes, literally a tear, a tear rolled down my cheek when that happened. Ernest's too, song. Too bad oh it wasn't raining. And all the little kids are sad because the campus is closing. that a song or did he yeah. write that? It's, I mean, he sings it. I don't know. I, I but is that like that? It's like it's an old musical song. It's a right? piece like of shit I, song. I, I think it's written for the movie. I would. I was. I always assumed it was written for That's the movie. That's not like a Muppets. That sounds like a Kermit ass type song. Like that. Okay. If it's if it's an original song, that song fucking hit me, man. I got into it. I loved it. It's a beautiful I moment cried. from a beautiful film. A little too long. It could have been forty five seconds. They got to fill do. time. How long is the running time on this movie? Not very long. Yeah. It's a 96 short with credits full length. One hour, 32 with credits. So wow. Ernest goes to jail at one hour and 21 minutes. Ernest goes to jail four hours and Again, 72 minutes. Another what reason. Fuck? Another reason Ernest goes to jail is superior. Ernest Shorter. goes to jail of uh, 48 years to life. What the fuck? It's long as hell. <laughs> That's what it, the tagline was. All right, we gotta end this. This shit is too long. Hey, William, what's been going? What's been going on though with you lately? (laughs) What's been new? I've uh, been trying to end the podcast. No, we got time. (laughs) No, we don't. No one wants to because we. Well, we got two hours of time. (laughs) Oh, you just don't got two hours to spare. We've been talking right now. Like, oh, just now hours. you don't got two hours. I know we've been talking for four hours. Talking for four hours. And it was playing for two hours, and now we've been talking for four. So why not make it six? <laughs> Next episode is for Thor: Love and Thunder, a bonus episode. I don't know, or we could communicate Ryan... through the text, and then I don't wake up two hours early after I've been on an Adderall and fucking drinking and doing drugs. He was on a five-hour Maybe energy he, drink, and he's like, "I gotta I go now." Two more he's like Dirk Diggler. He's like, "My dick is hard now. I gotta shoot. <laughs> we gotta pause yes, my big now. dick." Literally. And now his five-hour energy drink seems to be fading, and no, it's the end not of the fading. Episode. It's over. This is over. <laughs> you guys want to hang out? <laughs> Next kid, everything to me. I was a counselor. I had everything. And now it's all gone.
It's raining. 